Mrs. Bush died Tuesday at the age of 92. Meanwhile, President Trump coming to the, the defense of his personal attorney, Michael Cohen, who is under federal investigation for his business practices. A New York Times story suggests Cohen may turn on his client, but Mr. Trump attacked that idea and the newspaper in a series of tweets, saying the Times is going out of its way to destroy Cohen and their relationship. I'm Molly Line. Now back to Waters World. Time for this week's most outrageous stories. First up, a tenured professor at California State University at Fresno taking to Twitter just hours after the passing of former First Lady Barbara Bush to write this vile message. Barbara Bush was a generous and smart and amazing racist who, along with her husband, raised a war criminal. A fatty here with your nice words, adding, PSA, either you are against these pieces of and their genocidal ways or you're part of the problem. That's actually how simple this is. I'm happy the witch is dead. Can't wait for the rest of her family to fall to their demise the way 1.5 million Iraqis have. Joining me now, Fox News contributor Tommy Lahren and actor Stephen Baldwin. I mean, disgusting individual. She's tenured. She's bragging about how she's tenured, Tani, so you can't fire her. I'm not so sure about that because Fred is actually reviewing her status at the university. You're a California person. I think you should pay this professor a visit. I'd love to. I'd love to go pay her a visit and see, you know, what she has to say outside of, of course, the barriers of Twitter. But I think furthermore, it's disgusting. It's wrong. But she thinks she can get away with it because... This is liberal college campus 101. They think they can get away with it because they often do. Yeah, she's used to saying things like that. Uh, what do you call those people? Keyboard warriors. You know, they're very uh, bold when they're behind a keyboard. But I don't think she'd say that to the family's face. What about you? Well, I, I agree with Tommy. Uh, it's quite obvious. But, but, but what's interesting to me, too, Jesse, is the more we let these folks yodel, <laughs> the more we let them get on to Twitter and just, you know, poop their brains out, yeah. you know, et cetera, et cetera. The more those folks that voted for Mr. Trump get the confirmation and they start looking at these folks and they start looking at progressives on the left and they go, you know what? I don't agree with that. Yeah, this helps the president and the movement because yeah. you see people like this and you say, that's why that I voted for Donald Trump. Um, I want to show some sound from our friend Keith Ellison. I know you guys are very tight, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Congressman, uh, Democrat, actually had this to say about voting Republican. Let's hear it. Did you know that in Missouri and in Texas and maybe other places, maternal mortality has risen? Women are dying because we are losing elections. Yes. We don't have the right to lose a damn election. Yes. We have to win. <sighs> So voting for Republicans kills people, women especially. It kills women. And, you know, funny thing is, I'm a woman. I voted for President Trump, and I couldn't be happier. So I don't know <laughs> what he's talking about or what he's referring to, but, yeah. again, it just shows that's the only card they have in the deck is the victim card. Sad. We want to keep you alive, Tommy. We don't want you to die. We like you here on Fox News. Uh, Baldwin, why are you dancing? Go, Tommy. Go, Tommy. <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> I no, knew she's, I no, but she's great, you know what I mean? Because I can relate. You know, yeah. it's, obviously it's a little difficult to stand up and, you know, represent what you believe in in, 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 in these current, you know, waters. No pun intended. One tick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, again, it, it's, it's more of the same mayhem. It's more of the same messaging that just isn't working. It's yeah. not working for Democrats. Uh, I think, obviously, in this next round of elections, people are going to be just shocked. Yeah, if be if shocked. that's the Democrat message for the midterms, they're in deep trouble. Wasn't he also palling around with Farrakhan? I didn't think he'd be able to top that. I guess he just hey. did. Let's hear Joe Biden smoking Joe Biden. He was on with Al Sharpton, the reverend, and had this to say about Republicans. They've now said it's voter fraud. They've said that uh, foreigners were voting. They, they've said that... It's a lie. All of that. It's a flat lie. Look, it's what these guys are all about, man. Yeah. These Republicans don't want working class people voting. They don't want black folks voting. <laughs> so Republicans are going to put black voters back in chains. Remember that one? Now they're not going to let them vote. Yeah. Well... Again, uh, we're talking about voter fraud here, which is a very real thing. And I would say to Mr. Biden, if we're going to lose the midterms and we're going to lose in 2020, it shouldn't be because of voter fraud. It shouldn't be because dead people and illegal immigrants are voting for the Democrats. I'm sorry that that upsets him. Um, 
your dead voters, your illegal immigrants. They're not really allowed in our election system. No sanctuary in the voting booth. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Wasn't Joe supposed to fight President Trump? Weren't they going after each other on Twitter? Yeah, you know, uh, maybe it'll be me and uh, President Trump and uh, Joe and another Baldwin brother <laughs> in a, in a celebrity cage match. boxing some match. Kind of a, some kind of a cage WWE kind of smackdown. I'd, f I'd pay think? a lot of money for that. But, but again, you know, uh, if you think about the records of Republicans, and Democrats, as of lately, say the last eight or 10 years, I think most civilians and Americans and voters are going, huh, let me look at what the Republicans have fixed and how things are getting better mm -hmm. and what the Democrats have fixed and getting better. Yeah. P people aren't stupid, Jesse. They're putting it together now. They're figuring out we can make America great again. Are you again. thinking people are getting smarter? That's, Absolutely. that's your, okay? Absolutely. All right, well, we'll see about that because I've been out in the streets recently and it's still pretty bad. Uh-oh. <laughs>